This is my Meccano Gandhi car. It's the traditional hand-powered railway maintenance vehicle. It's got a motor in it and it can pick up power to the wheels through the rails from below. Same as any train set. And I want it to run as part of an automated system with signals at each end of the track and a bascule bridge that will go up and down. And we want it to be automated. It's going to run by itself and I want to do it using, if I can, just Meccano parts and very few other bits, no computers certainly. All the motors are 12 volt DC motors rescued from video recorders and old cassette recorders and they'll run off a 12 volt DC supply and two wires from this old model railway controller that was also made by Meccano. Each of the motors can be fed through one of two switches. This one gets pressed when the bridge is fully up. At the moment it's down, so the top switch is pressed by this adjustable fish plate. We don't have to use ordinary micro switches, we could make our own out of Meccano. I've combined two switches in one with this Meccano device to operate the signals. At the moment the signal is down. If the signal was up this linkage would move across and lift this switch arm and connect it to earth or chassis through this bolt head here. There's a Meccano switch at each end of the line like this one hit when the Gandhi car approaches it which breaks the circuit here and connects the switch arm to the chassis via this bolt. Meccano plastic gear wheels are a very good way to mount switches. Here's a dual switch like the ones in the signal at the other end except that this time the switch arms either side feed the motor terminal at the bottom and they can be interrupted by this rotating shaft which is a collar and a dome headed bolt which can lift either switch arm and send it to earth through the collar and the rod in the middle. It doesn't matter which direction the collar turns in because it's going to turn this bush wheel here which will pull and release a wire linkage going to the signal arm here the moment the signal is up. So we don't have to reverse the motor for the signal to go down we just have to make it go around a bit further. But the other signal and the bridge and the Gandhi car will all need reversing at some time during the program or sequence as we'll call it. The Gandhi car is going to hit the switch at the end of the track here and advance the sequence to the next thing. How do we get the reversing done? Right, what I've done is I've used a commercial toggle switch in the middle there. That's the end of it extended by a piece of brass rod. At the back of the switch there's some wires. I've mounted the switch using a Meccano trunnion. I've just had to enlarge a hole slightly. Sorry about that. So this worm driven by a motor and the gear above are going to move a weight which will lift over and control the toggle switch. We'll see that in a moment. The switch is a four pole two way switch so not only does it reverse polarity but it also has its own limit switches in it to stop the motor running after it's changed polarity. So to change the direction in which any of the motors will run we use a four pole double throw toggle switch moved by the polarity reversing motor. This operates four sets of changeover contacts and changes between normal polarity or reverse polarity. Here I've made a giant rotary Meccano switch using only Meccano parts. The springiness for the wiper is provided by this modern Meccano flexible strip and there's a battery terminal from French Meccano motor set. The contact studs are all Allen headed bolts which are nice and big and rounded. 
They're mounted in Meccano transparent plates, doubled up. Plenty of washers under them to protect it. And they're connected through ribbon cable, which is coded in the international colour code. Starting with brown for one, red for two, and so on. The rotary switch is driven by another 12 volt DC motor. It's geared down here. And the rotary switch has got 32 terminals. So we've got to join up 32 wires to the wires from the motor. We do that using this Meccano distribution frame. Distribution frames are what they use in telephone exchanges. It's a bit like that, except that we're going to use paper clips on the end of our wires and we can just connect them onto these insulated Meccano strips or well, they're metal strips that have been joined onto plastic Meccano plates here. They're all insulated from each other. We've got 18 strips insulated here. There's a Meccano strip on the side that is the negative supply rail after the reversing switch. In fact, that black wire goes to just about everything there. There's another one on the other side one with all the paper clips on it. That's for the return path to the sequencer motor. So all the unused terminals are connected onto here and we'll see that happening in a moment. Here's the switch arm moving around now. These studs aren't needed for the program. That's reversing polarity with that falling weight. Signals up, Gandhi car is going to start. There's a worm drive to the wheels. And the operators just go up on their toes a bit. Just coming over the bridge now the end of the track. Hitting the switch, you can hear the sequencer move. Next thing, the signal goes up. Gandhi car is going to start again. It's a bit bumpy over the bridge. Coming to the end of the line now. Ready to hit the next switch. Signal's gone down at the other end. Polarity's changed. And the bridge is going to raise. Bracket moving on the screwed rod is attached to the linkage on the bridge. As the bracket comes down, it's going to hit the micro switch and the bridge will be fully raised up. Rotary switch is moving around the unused part of the switch. Could get this to do other jobs as well. Here comes the polarity reversal. Nice falling weight that moves the toggle switch. Bascule bridge is coming down now. There goes the linkage. Pushing the micro switch. Signal's gone up this end of the track. Gandhi car is going to start moving. Here it comes across the bridge. It's going to operate that switch. The other signal's gone down, this one's gone up. Polarity's getting reversed and the Gandhi car can start going back across the bridge. Apart from the micro switches, the only other non Meccano bits in there are the toggle switch and four diodes made into a rectifying bridge 
so that the motor here for the sequencer always travels in the same direction. The railway tracks are mounted on plastic Meccano plates with another strip underneath that links either side together but still keeps the two rails isolated. It also gives a bit of springiness to the rails and makes for better contact with the wheels. The jetty that the Gandhi car runs on is made from plastic Meccano boxes. Here's the screwed rod operating the Meccano signal. So this is my wired electromechanical sequencer, or WEMS. You can use it to operate all sorts of Meccano models, including my Mystic Mech machine and also the WEM treacle mine. If you want full instructions for the sequencer, you can find them in Constructor Quarterly number 95. That's published in March 2012.